Rick Ashley, Chairman, Arthur River Cement. Pleasure to speak to you today. Um, Pleasure as always, Captain. Great results. Thank you. Good first half results. Turnover up strongly, I saw. Yeah. Good expansion on. Yeah, we were, we were pleased. Um, and, and that's before the Tanga Clinker facilities come on stream. So do we expect is. much more and much be uh, and wider spreads going forward? I think obviously in, you know, in the medium term and the long term, then, then Tanga is going to con contribute and contribute significantly, mm -hmm. uh, both in terms of increased turnover and particularly obviously increased margins on that increased turnover as, as we're in back to being more in charge of our destiny in terms of our own production in terms of in clinker. Yes. Um, so yeah, in terms of when it comes on board, second half of 2014, obviously we will, we will start to replace some of the imported clinker we've been using in the meantime with our own production. That will, that will increase our margins. Um, so yeah, I'd certainly the, the second half which would be so a step up again on the first half. Excellent news for shareholders. And Rick, you know, since how long have you been now? Uh, how long have you been chairman at? Uh, since 2009, I think. 2009, and obviously, you know, there's been this significant bulking up of expansion, hasn't there, during that period? Yeah, yeah. And d do you feel confident about the demand? Do you feel confident about where you are today <laughs> now? And about, you know, when you look back to when you, where you started from, do you think that the strategy is falling in place? I think so, yeah. I mean, my, my original involvement with the company deck goes back to 1996, 1997, being a sponsor and stockbroker on the, on the IPO. Oh, wow. Um, so the, the, the history is, yeah, the history and the, the, the difference is, is phenomenal. Um, it's been a, yeah, it's been a, a great growth story. Yes. Um, I think our, our view, you look at demand, I saw that across from your region. statement. You were very yeah. bullish about demand. I think so. You look, yes. you look, you know, you look at demand, demand on a sort of compound annual growth rate of you know 13, 14, 15 percent across the region yeah. over extended periods of time. Yes, it's brought competition into it. Yes, um, you know, um, we're we believe addressing that competition yes. through having control of limestone and clinker rather than working backwards from a trading mentality to, to grind cement is, mm. is the right way to do it and gives us a significant competitive advantage. Yes. I think that, that advantage coupled with um, increasing demand, you know, we've, we've just crossed the 100 kilos per capita. Yes, I, I saw Pradeep make um, that point. You know, which is, which is great, I think. The number, but give, give us the an number, idea of the what sort of kilogram consumption would you have and give us some other examples, some economies where we can sort of compare. Egypt. What's Egypt? 500. So we got North North a Africa four population. to five hundred. Yes. Um, South Africa about four four fifty, I think. Um, so, so we're 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 developing. You know, yes. we we're starting to see. You know, we've had some of the pain of the infrastructure development in Nairobi. We're starting to see the benefits of it now. Um, but you know, that gives you a sense of how far. So what you know, think it's a it's a sweet spot of cement demand? I think I think that demand is going to yeah, going to keep growing. You know. Um, so, you know, between the demand growing, continuing to grow, the investment in capacity, then, yeah. Um. You know, uh, we were dealing with shareholders today, and it's always quite fun for me, especially to see how people interact. And obviously, you were the one they were all interacting with. <laughs> <laughs> and they, yeah. some of them didn't get to the question, but never mind. Well, no, but the, the compliments are nice too sometimes. And, and how, uh, how do you feel? The, the shareholder base seems to me to have been with you for some time. I mean, we were just speaking yes. to Andrew, who said he'd made his investment a few years ago. Yeah. Um, do you feel that your shareholders understand your business model? I think so. I think they do. Um, I mean, I think you're right. They have been... There is, there is a core of those shareholders yes. who've been with us. I suspect if we look at the shareholders registered, they've been there pretty much since the IPO. Um, and some of those people bought into the IPO because they had connections with, you know, whether it's with the company, whether it's with Mazay personally. Um, you know, it's it's amazing. You know. There was quite a lot of warm it's talk about Mazay. Absolutely. I mean, his legacy really still still lives on lives through the company, through the foundation. Yes. Um, so that that. That's a that's lovely, um, but it does give us that feeling of yeah, of it being sometimes a bit more family orientated. Obviously, you know the the other in the other group of interactions with the other or shareholder audiences in terms of institutional investors yes. tends to happen through through conversations with with the analysts and with the fund managers directly yes. through the year rather than at the AGM. But it's 
it's nice, you know, I was just talking to, uh, to one of the journalists and saying, well, you know, what, what does it, you know, basically, what does an AGM do? And I said, yes. well, it gives us, there is a list of things that we have to do at the yes. AGM, but it, more importantly, it gives us that chance to connect with, with the shareholders. Looking forward, are you bullish about the outlook for the company? I know we got more competition, which you touched on. Um, we have. Yes. Um, you know, I, I think competition is inevitable when you know when a sector is growing as quickly as, as cement has been. Um, I think we. Are you ahead of the curve? I think I think we take the right approach. I think we, you know to, in terms of, seeking you know from the, the geogra geological work that's done, um, ac across the region. Yes. Uh, to identifying the deposits, to measuring those deposits, and building the business that way. Um, it leaves us, as, as I said, much more, in, I think, in charge of our own destiny. And I think that's the important thing. It gives us that much more flexibility in terms of, in terms of competition. But yeah, um, the, growth, the growth is there. The demand is going to be there. Uh, and the share price? I mean, we had a triple digit gain last year. I think everyone's getting used to these sort of <coughs> extraordinary. I, I've come to more than, yeah, more than <laughs> once with uh, uh, with colleagues on the board, yeah, we we've set ourselves a, a you know a, a high expectation now, which is which is great uh, because that then keeps people on their toes to to keep meeting that. Uh, Rick Ashley, Chairman, thank you so much. Pleasure. Take thank care. you.